Hi, this is a quick video showing you how to set up your Ozobot bits for the first time and how to ensure that they're charging and operating correctly. I've got the Ozobot bit dual pack here with the titanium black and crystal white. Let's go ahead and open that up, take your Ozobots out, and you can remove them from the plastic holder by depressing the button and sliding them out. And they can be a little bit tricky. There we go. I find it's easy to grab the tab from the bottom and then release it. So we've got our Ozobots out. Now inside your box you'll see a test mat which we can use for ensuring the Ozobots are working correctly. And underneath we've got some shells but more importantly a micro USB cable which we can use to charge the Ozobot. So to charge it, connect the micro USB cable to the Ozobot and ensure it clicks in all the way. Then connect it to a USB power supply. I'm using a wall pack here, you can also use the USB on a computer or a laptop as well. So when the Ozobot is charging correctly, you'll see that the LED will fade through the rainbow colors, and that means that it is charging. When it is close to being fully charged, the LED will blink green, and when it is fully charged, the LED will be a steady, constant green. You can tell that your Ozobot needs to be charged when the LED starts blinking red. So I'll put that off charge for now and demonstrate with the other one. Set your micro USB connector, and it will be charged, or charging now, so we can go ahead now, ideally you should fully charge them on first use, but I'm going to go ahead now, you can see this one is almost fully charged, and demonstrate how to calibrate them and get them working for the first time. So pull out your test mat, and as I said, we need to calibrate them. To do this, you simply turn the Ozobot on and hold uh, the power button, which is located on the side here, which we use to turn it on and off, and you want to hold that in until the LED starts flashing white. Go ahead and demonstrate with the black one. Hold it in, there we go. Now place it on top of uh, a black line. You can also get a black marker, your Ozobot markers draw a big black circle. It's much easier to calibrate it because you need to place the light sensors underneath on top of the line. So when it blinks uh, green at the end, you can tell it's been calibrated correctly. If it blinks red, it means it wasn't calibrated correctly and you need to try again. So I'll see if I can get it to not calibrate correctly with the white one, so it's flashing white now. If we put it so the light sensor is not actually on the black, it should take a few moments, drive forward, and it will flash red, indicating it hasn't been calibrated correctly. Just try again on a black surface, and if you are having trouble with this, get your Ozobot marker and just draw a big uh, solid circle on the paper to calibrate it. And that's all you need to do to ensure your Ozobots are working correctly. You can turn them on and off with the uh, power button on the side. And if you are experiencing any issues, it's always recommended to let them run completely flat and then charge them fully back up and they should be ready to go. That's all there is to it, guys. Enjoy.